Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to separate your home guest network from your main network. Okay, so we're looking at the configuration that we built in the four part series on basic home networking. We have the Edge Router X, the Unify Switch 860 Watt, the Cloud Key and the Controller, and the UAP AC Lite. This network was built on the 192.168.100.0 slash 24 subnet with a Wi-Fi named QuickTech Lab Wi-Fi. In a follow-up video, I showed you how to create a simple guest Wi-Fi with bandwidth throttling on the same network. I'll put links to those videos up above. In today's video, I'd like to show you how to take that guest Wi-Fi and separate it from your main network, putting it on a VLAN using the subnet 192.168.20.0/24. This way, any guest that connects to the guest Wi-Fi will receive an IP address on that different subnet, separating them from your main internal network. We'll be working in the Edge Router X and the Unify Controller to accomplish this task. All right, guys. So I'm signed into the Edge Router. We're at the main dashboard. And at the time of this video, I'm running firmware version 1.9.7 Hotfix 3. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add a VLAN to the Edge Router. We're going to set up a DHCP server in the Edge Router for that VLAN. And we're going to tell the Edge Router to listen for DNS on that VLAN interface. We're not going to get into firewall rules today. That, that'll be another video. Um, then we're going to go over to, once that's done, we're going to switch over to the Unify Controller and configure what needs to be uh, configured there. So let's get started first in the dashboard's main screen by adding an interface and say saying add VLAN. And the VLAN ID I'm going to use for this video is VLAN 20. The interface I'm going to select is switch zero because my local network is on switch zero. We're going to call this VLAN 20. And we're going to manually define the IP address and we'll give the interface 192.168.20.1 and it's a slash 24 network and we'll say save and the edge router is creating the new VLAN and it should be visible in a moment or two. And there we go. Okay. So under interface, you see now we have switch zero and now we have switch 0.20 and the type is VLAN. So now next thing we need to do is set up the DHCP server. So let's come up to the services tab and here's the DHCP server for the main network. Let's click on add DHCP server and we'll call it VLAN 20 and we're going to give it the subnet. Oops. 192.168.20.0 slash 24. And we're going to start the IP range at dot 20.2. And we'll end the IP range at 20.254. We'll give it the whole uh, range of IP addresses. The router is going to be 20.1. The primary DNS server will be the same. And we're going to make the secondary DNS server a public DNS of 4.2.2.2. Make sure we have enable checked off and we're going to go ahead and click save. Okay, so now we have our DHCP server for our VLAN 20 subnet. Next, let's click on the DNS tab and let's add a listening interface so that we can tell the edge router to listen for DNS on the VLAN interface switch, dot, switch 0 dot 20. Let's say save. Okay, so we should be good to go for now with the edge router. Let's jump over to the Unify controller and let's come on down to the settings tab and the first thing we need to do is tell the Unify controller um, that we, we're going to have a VLAN network. So I'm going to click on the Networks tab, and we're going to click Create New Network. And if I was using the USG router, I could 
choose guest network, but I'm going to click VLAN only since I'm using the edge router. I'm going to call this VLAN 20. And the VLAN ID is going to be 20. And we'll go ahead and say save. Next, let's come up to the wireless networks. And there's the guest Wi-Fi we created in that last video. Let's click on the edit button. And we're going to go ahead under advanced options. We're going to select or enable VLAN and we're going to say VLAN 20 so that we're going to assign VLAN 20 or we're going to assign this guest Wi-Fi to VLAN 20. We'll go ahead and we'll say save. Okay. And the last thing I want to do under guest control is under post -author authorization restrictions, I want to add the subnet 192.168.100.0 slash 24. That's the main network. So we'll keep people from accessing the main network, people that are on the guest network from accessing the main network. So let's go ahead and apply changes. And now let's go up to our devices and we see that our UAP AC light is provisioning. And once this is uh, finished provisioning and connected, we should be able to connect to it with an iPhone, iPad, or any mobile device. Select that guest network. Hopefully we'll receive an IP address on the 192.168.20 subnet. We should have bandwidth throttling still in effect that we put in from the last video. All right, guys, so I have the iPhone connected. So let's go into the settings and under Wi-Fi, let's connect to the guest Wi-Fi. Okay, we're connected. We should have an IP address of 192.168.20. something. Let's see. Okay, so there we go. We got 20.2. So that's good. So we're on the guest Wi-Fi. And the fact that we got the 20.2 um, address from the DHCP server says, is telling me that we are um, successfully on the VLAN. Okay, so let's go back and do a speed test to confirm that bandwidth throttling is still in effect. So it should be five meg down and two meg up. Okay. And there we go. We're just about five meg down and we should be about two meg up once this finishes. And there we go. Okay, let me jump out of here. And let's bring up a ping tool. And let's see if we can ping um, 192.168.100.1, which is the address of the edge router on the main network. Remember, we told the guest policies to restrict post authorization to the main network. So we shouldn't be able to ping from here. Let's see. Okay. And there you go. You could see that it's just saying request timed out. Let's try pinging 100.3, which is the IP address of the cloud key and the Unify controller. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Um, if we just want to test that out with a web browser, if we go to 192, dot one six eight dot one hundred dot one which would be the interface of the edge router on the main network you can see that we're just loading and loading and loading and loading okay so now let's bring up a ping tool one more time and if I attempt to ping the edge routers interface 20.1 you'll see that it will go through and we're going to talk about that in the next video you see i am getting a, a successful ping to 192.168.20.1 so basically guests cannot access the main network guests cannot access the interface of the edge router on the main network because we've segregated off that main network through the 
uh, post authorization guest policy. But guests on the um, guest Wi Fi on the 20, uh, 192.168.20 subnet can still ping and access the interface of the edge router on that subnet. So, for example, if I went to 192.168.20.1, which is the interface of the edge router on that subnet, you'll see that it is loading the page and I can continue from this point. So in the next video, we will talk about how to prevent guests from accessing the interface of the edge router. We'll create some firewall rules. We'll look at different ways um, to firewall off the guests from hitting the interface of the edge router um, in the next video. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please, Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please like, and please share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.